Hello and welcome to Board 8 Baseball Game 5 of the World Series. Final game here at Wrigley Field. A special night here for Board 8 Baseball. With me, as usual, the voice of Board 8 Baseball, Exton Nemesis. Hello. As well as, back after his regular season hijinks, Volch. Oh, hell yeah. Finally, I came back for basically a free game series. Yes, that's right. We have a three game series here as the Burris did the unthinkable, as this one's grounded out to Kepinger's replacement. <laughs> the Burris <laughs> did the unthinkable and uh, beat Roy Halliday. They beat him rather well, too, featuring a Jake Peavy one hit shutout uh, to even this series. And now, uh, huge game here. Yes, we I have, uh... hope KCF's team just gets destroyed. Is, is that who this team is? Yeah. Yeah, we've we've got KCF here and we've got Chris. It's like fucking Sophie's choice right here. Wasn't KCF <laughs> the guy that was like, "Oh, I've played 600 hours yes, this game." Yes, it's him. And he's chosen the most boring team that only has Carlos Gonzalez that matters. Yep. Hey, well, now Starling we have Starlin Castro. Castro, yeah. <laughs> Bolch, have you been watching the games or no? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you mean subject myself to more KCF games? Yeah, he he learned that from the LCS. Okay, well, he has to he has to learn our inside jokes then. Um, yeah, well, Starlin Volch, did you know how I lost the testicle to Chris when Starlin Castro hit ten homers this year? Oh, did he? Yeah. I how did, did Starlin Castro hit ten homers? So Starlin Castro then goes for KCF, and he's gonna destroy Chris for me. So Hopefully. this is this is what Alec is hoping. Also, uh, throughout the the LCS on Chris's side, uh, Jeff Kepinger started, I think, the first, what, four games? Something. And I don't think he was really amazing, but uh, his defense was good. And since Longoria's come back, he's hitting something like 182. Or, yeah, well, that'll help. Oh, Longoria, this was going to get all the way to the wall. Kepinger would have gotten that. Oh, yeah, Kepinger would have hit it out of the park. Or are you saying on defense? Oh, both. Oh, no, he would have jumped are. off of the scrubs bench, made the play, and then thrown it over the outfield fence. Exactly. Now, see, this is an instance where it would make sense to walk to Lewitsky. <laughs> nah. Yeah. They ain't ever going to do that. This is this is the San Marino Bears. Either they're going to let you have 60 home runs a game, or they're going to shut you down. Holy shit. Is Tulo, like, completely poop here in the World Series as my stat sheet loads. And this might drop in. It might. Oh. It does! But it's not going to score a run because Longo is wisely holding up. So Chris shuffling the lineup today. and it Shuffling the lineup? I swear he only he always puts the reset button on his entire team. Tulo oh. was only hitting 143 in the series. Um only one hit since that home run in his first at bat of the series, but As Fisher. This one is clubbed deep to right field, going back at the track at the wall, and it bounced off the wall. I think one, only one run. You kidding me? Come on, Tulo, you could do run faster than that. Well, he didn't Here's King Fielder. He didn't know it's King Fielder, bro. But yeah, Swisher coming up, or sorry, Swisher comes up, gets them ahead early. They desperately needed to try and turn around the momentum in this series, blowing a 2-0 lead at their, you know, in their home stadium. I hear our ratings are down so much that the next season will be the last season, and I'm blaming it all on KCF here. Oh, you're going to blame me. Uh, no, nobody got to see you because you never did anything. Hey, I've been the voice of Board 8 Baseball all season long, and this is going to get is that the third out? No, no. But it's an important second out because and we can have out because it brings up the second the best second catcher best, in baseball. The second best catcher in baseball. <laughs> <laughs> no, you knew, you're, you're familiar with that one. Yeah, man. Does lefty his former Philly... team, uh, his former team, the, the Phillies, you know, second best team in baseball. Ruiz lifts one into center, but... He just gets under it, and that'll end the inning. So, only two runs come across in what looked like it was going to be a very dangerous inning. Let's see if the uh, KCF oh. terrorists can respond was, with Adam LaRoche. Adam LaRoche is their cleanup? 
<laughs> you, you realize that you watched this for a whole series. He's doing... <laughs> yeah, but I haven't. I, I skipped the last four weeks. Let me readjust. Well, well the best thing about that is I literally had the same exact reaction. He's not clean. What next? I, I would you rather know, have as a main guy as my really cleanup. Bad thing. He, I think he might be like one of the top three hitters on this team. <laughs> So, I mean, it was legit last game, didn't he? Like, he got, like, a walk, and he, I know he drove in at least two runs last yeah, game. I, I think he, you know, played in the last game, which is, you know, good. Oh, we're watching a World Series where Max Scherzer is pitching to Adam Jones. Yeah. No wonder. Let's look at this team. How many of these players are ever going to make it to the World potentially make it to the World Series? Adam LaRoche, <laughs> no. No. Um, Matt <laughs> Peters, not as long. <laughs> Adam Jones. <laughs> oh, nope, dear. If that swing is evidence. So, uh... Jason Day, Colby Rammer. Oh, well, oh, wait. Chris actually has an okay team. They're overrated, but they're still none. Well, I mean, they're in the World Series, so. Mm -hmm. They're, Kansas, they're like one of those, you know, those Yankees teams of, like, days gone by that has all the, like, really big-name players who are a bit over the hill. But, you know, they're still going to be more productive than the other shit out there. How did – why didn't the shortstop try and, like, get that? He, like, watched it go by his feet. Colby Rasmus. It's been a while since I've seen a game of curses. Speaking actually. of other players who are never going to play in a World Series, Starlin Castro. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Chris, the the Cubs scrubs get uh, two men on for the second straight inning, and Kane is gonna have to rein it in here because if they get too far behind, uh, I mean, you wouldn't bet on their offense. Have back. you seen some of those uh, San Marino against Green Hill Hedgehog home run derby games? <laughs> this one is driven to center field. Back goes the center fielder, makes the play. For the first out of the inning, but they're still first and third with one out. No, was this the LCS? Yeah, they, they was basically a home run derby. Yeah, there was, was that still boring. one game where they forgot who they were, and it was still boring. Yep. How how can a home run derby be boring? I mean, in an actual game, I mean the home run derby itself is pretty boring. But yeah, I blame that on Chris Berman. <laughs> When all your home runs are coming from Magliano or Donez, yeah. Did you just call him Magliano? I don't care. Longo puts this one. This is going to drift foul. Maybe. Yes. Look at that. The fan was going for it. You know what's the really bad thing here is that this might convince Chris to, you know, put Evan Longoria in the lineup for the rest of the series. I know, I know. Although he did just strike out there. Yeah, big, big strikeout. I'm hoping he comes up with the bases loaded every at bat for the rest of the game and grounds into a triple play each time. <laughs> I hope so too. Just, uh, I think that finally would push Chris over the edge. That would get get us some sweet Keppinger action. Next year, I'm so picking Jesus Montero. <laughs> And Swisher, or no, I'm sorry, Tulowitzki grounds out to end the inning. So, Chris wastes, or Chris's team wastes two base runners. Second oh, straight inning. I think he's, I think that's four left on base now for him. Andre Ethia is so terrible in these games. Yeah, how is Ethier bad in this game? Like, you mean stats, Mr. At... hit sub 100 in the second half of the season? I do not know. He sure's his bitch. <laughs> oh, take that! As he singles up the the middle of the field. No, oh. he's just getting ready for a double play. Probably. Matt, yeah, the Matt franchise Wheaters. Hey, hey, Matt Wheaters has a huge three-run home run in this series. And... That's why they call him Matt the franchise. <laughs> he's yeah. the fucking cornerstone of that team. I'm pretty sure in this series, getting an RBI, even if you're on the losing team in that game, is, you know, enough to... If if you're in San Marino, you know, that's more than anyone who ever watched that team is ever going to do in their life, so... 
the franchise is out. How could this be? And up steps Corey Hart. <coughs> this team is in the World Series. <laughs> but uh, Scherzer looks pretty sharp so far. Hey, he is one of the best active players named Corey in the major leagues right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's I a great you stay. Me. Alec, you're such a great stats, man. You, you just know these things. I, I know. Well, we have lots of research that goes in before these games. For example, Elvis Andrews, only a second and best Elvis. <laughs> what's that, what's that Alec? Corey Perry plays better. Elvis Andrews, only the second best Elvis in this series. <laughs> who's, the, who's the first? We're not sure. That's uh, <laughs> we're researching that, but <laughs> it's just so bad that. Oh, what the hell! What? <laughs> what the I like that flail, like he's a matador, like <laughs> waving a bull. Oh yeah! <laughs> he's scared of bulls. He's All scared. right, here it comes. This is time for Starling Castro. <laughs> he's gonna be the fucking go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Starling Castro is going to squat on this ball's face and shit all over it. I love that we're all just blatantly rooting for Star- for, against Chris's team right now just because we want Starling Castro. But Scherzer doesn't appear to have any desire to give up runs 